Mir se erë dhe të gjithë. Si e në sot? Shkemi? <laughs> I know I've just greeted you in Albanian language. And what I said is welcome everyone. How are you all doing? So good to see you. So yeah, that was my language. How did that sound? I hope you were saying like, dang, what is she talking about? Is that a tongue or something? <laughs> but uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We have some amazing things in store for you today. We have an awesome activity. You see this? This crowd of cheese right here. This mountain of cheese. We are going to do an activity about cheese sculpting. It's gonna be awesome and amazing. And you know where the contents? Just have a guess. <laughs> it's gonna be, of course, me. And I'm gonna welcome the only and the only one, Isaac Ruiz. Honestly, I don't know why I do the games anymore. <laughs> because I win every single one. So that's not, really that's not, that's not true, really actually. No, that's not true. I know uh, Isaac. Isaac is a very humble man. Don't I you am. guys think so? Humility, you know, <laughs> humility, <laughs> and the definition in the in you know the dictionary, it it has me like under examples of this <laughs> word. It says Isaac Ruiz, <laughs> right next to Janet. That's like a, a how is it called in English? Like the the opposite of the word, the synonym. Yeah, synonym. You know, so it's like it's a antonym. A, antonym. Antonym. So he's probably on the on that side of the of the dictionary. <laughs> but, uh, uh, we'll see. <laughs> All right, guys, so what we're gonna do, me and Isaac, we are going to do different sorts of shapes. Do we know what these shapes are? Yes, I have it on my phone. But <laughs> yeah, let's, let's cut that for a moment. <laughs> Sorry for technical difficulties. <laughs> All right, so we had the shapes We should have here, Janet guys. read it to us. We should have Janet read it to us. All right. So we have... Let's have Janet read it to us. All right, we'll have Janet read it to us. So Janet is on the other side of the camera, guys. Give a give hands up for her. She's doing a Janet, great, amazing job Janet, every week. Janet's like, you know, the thing that holds us down. She's youth <laughs> ministry's anchor. Without Janet, this wouldn't be happening. So shout out to yes. Janet. You guys can follow Janet on uh, her Instagram, which I think is X. O, X, O, J, O, V, E, Wow, Isaac. A, no? What, no. What? X, O, Lovely. X, O, Lovely. Woo. Jen. X, O, Lovely, Jen. So you I, can follow I have a her. Really good, I have a really good, like, memory yeah of when you I can see, see that because i'm like yeah. that's not even easy ariona is e-r-i-o-n-a-g-r-a-b-o-c-k-a -O -O oh so that's my uh, yes yes grabochka yeah 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 well a lot of no. people call me grabochka grabochka but he did pronounce it well because my last name is grabochka and i speak albanian fluently guys yeah he does let, let, let's let, let us speak so see it mir Mir. <laughs> I know Albanian. All right, Janet, what are we yeah, doing? Right. So the first shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna take this and we are going to shape them through our teeth. I thought you said we didn't have teeth. to use. I thought you said we didn't need to use teeth. Yeah, the best teeth. I hate cheese. <laughs> no, we are gonna Hat. use only Hat. teeth. A heart, huh? That's what I, you said. I really hate. Think I'm gonna win I this can't, in a I can't eat cheese beat. by itself. Like, I am so grossed out by it. All right, let's do it. So it's gonna be a heart shape, right? It smells disgusting. It smells, I, I, I love cheese, guys. Cheese is my favorite food, Can so I just I use have my no hands? Problems. No, by teeth. All right. All right, so three, two, one. I'm so grossed out by this. I really, I'm really that bad. I, I legit hate this. I, I, I really can't. I'll do it with my hands. With hands is easy. He's cheating, guys. Well, my heart looks a little bit like a 
like a broken heart. That's it. <laughs> no, no. no we we cause bro I made my heart. I say we should just use our hands, Ariona. <laughs> she likes cheese. She's like, no, nah, I'm good. Wait. That's... This my teeth hard, guys. Look at that. Who is more, who is more nicer? Well, of course you use the hands. So it look, yours looks like the continent of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> it does, like... though, right? <laughs> Well, but I dare to use my teeth, Janet, girl, so Janet, you gotta give me let's that Let's make credit. it equal. We should just use our hands. Okay. I, I, I hate cheese. I can only eat cheese when it's melted and it's on food. I'm weird like that. The only cheese I can eat normally is Colby Jack by itself. Yeah. That's weird, but all right. All right. Okay, What's the next let's one, Janet? go by hands now. This one is um, really easy. Huh. Soy coal. Circle. Yeah. She had an accent on that one. That one's a soy coal. <laughs> who, who had an accent? Janet. Janet? <laughs> All right, so. Well, it seems like easy or easy, but uh, what do you want to do? Now I'm sure it looks like good. Guys, look at it, guys. Look at it, guys. No matter what I do, teaser hand, I'm good. Look at my circle. Look at my circle. My circle. That's like a. That's like a. What is it? Like a fish. That's like a circle. Look uh, at that. I'll give this there. one to everyone. That one looks more like a circle. <laughs> so it's one one right now. Well, no, I won last time too. No, you didn't. Yes, you didn't. I did the no, heart. Didn't. My heart. Oh, you gotta better. give me the credit for the teeth. I use my teeth at least. Janet, but... mine looked more like a heart. Last time. So Janet, yeah. who did it? Like, okay, I, I use my. So we're one one. We're one one. Yeah. Okay, we're tied. We're one one. Be happy. Okay. All right, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. Ariana. Oh. Look at Ariana. <laughs> What's she hiding? She has a long passcode. No. Right? What's she hiding? That's like it's like 30, 30 words. <laughs> no. It's a triangle. Triangle here. What we do here is go back. back, 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 back. I'm not cheating off you. I'm just laughing at your face and why you're showing it. Your your My masterpiece. masterpiece. Look at my triangle, guys, 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 guys. You are gonna love this. All right, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. What the heck is that, Isaac? It's a triangle. That's not a triangle. Let me fix it. Isaac, do that. Look at that. Look at my 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 perfect triangle. Who had the better triangle? Look at that, my perfect triangle. <laughs> That's not a triangle. It's like a. <laughs> So you're giving this one to Ariana? <laughs> yeah. Two, 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 one! Alright, all right, next one. What, what did he say it? beginning that he's gonna he's like winning everything? Like, yeah, watch. Can... I got this one. Hold you on. You know, once Albania come it? on a game. <laughs> what is it? Huh. Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower. You know what that Eiffel is? Eiffel Tower, yes. So we can put some uh, creativity on that too. Not just a tower. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what to do. Can I get another slice of cheese? Yes. Lord God deliver your servant. <laughs> yeah, what is that? This is my Eiffel Tower together with the restaurant downstairs. The restaurant downstairs? <laughs> I put the, I put the, there's a park down at Eiffel Tower, you know, and they're like, oh, I'm going to make it nice for you guys. 
Have you ever been in the Eiffel Tower? Yes, I have. <gasps> wow, tell us about it. How was it's it? It's so beautiful. There are so many lights. It's so tall, and if you you can you can paint to go to the very 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 top of it, guys. And it's like uh, it's amazing. Believe me, it's so amazing. You have to visit France. France is a beautiful place to go. And if you have an opportunity, don't miss that. Go visit it in the summer, especially on June. The best, best weather to visit Spain. Uh, sorry, France. All right, look at my Eiffel Tower. Isn't that amazing? Look at my Eiffel Tower here. So, oh, the, yeah. <laughs> that looks like the map of Albania. <laughs> that looks like my country. Mine's like a stingray. <laughs> it's so nice. It's a stingray. <laughs> oh, look Ariana at got that one. All right, what's the last one? I lost this game. Uh, okay. Fish. A fish. Perfect. That's that's my main <laughs> that's my main shape. All right, let's do a fish. What kind of fish? <laughs> the Jesus fish. Not the Jesus fish. That's like a a kiss fish. Make a, a nice fish. Difficult fish. My stingray works, right? <laughs> he died. Okay. Um. All right, guys. I love fish. I don't know about you guys, but I do love fish. I can't even make it. <laughs> I'm so grossed out by this. On every level. Don't grow up. Um, <laughs> don't grow up being picky. There we go. Don't grow up being picky. That's my PSA for this. That's good. Preach it, Isaac. Thank you. Preach it, preach it, preach it. Need to hear that. Hey, it's a fish. So you gotta see my fish, guys. It's a good fish. We have so many good fishes in my country because we have a big lake there too. And uh, the fish, do you know, guys, that the fish of the lake is much tastier than the fish of the of the salty sea? You know, because the lake is not salty, right? It's a water. It's a, like a. a, a uh, let me put, I need to put the eye of the fish. It's a, it's a sweet waters. You don't see it? I made one. Yeah? What's that? What is that, Isaac? A baby fish. This isn't even a baby fish. It looks like a... No like one a, said it needed to be a grown-up like fish. It's like a crab or something. <laughs> Not at all. This is a fish. <laughs> Look at my fish. All right, Janet. Who won this one? Look at my fish. I, I put like an eye here and look, it has even the... the... Mine is yours? nicer. Look at that. Yours looks... It's a tie. Yours looks like those sandfish that just lay flat on the water. Yeah, it's uh, taking some baths. It's taking some bath. Look at go. my fish, guys. My fish wins. Look at his fish. That's not even a, look, a fish. It, it even like, swims. Like, what kind of fish is it that? It even swims with oh, the Oh, my, my, my fish. That's not even a fish. So, who won eh, that one? Eh, who, no, who won that one? Eh. Who won that one? Ariana's celebrating before she even knows. Oh, I already had more points than you. But who won that one? I would give it to her. Guys, I just want to say I win every game, but Ariona only wins a game that has to deal with making crafts out of cheese. Put that, that, so put that on your application. That was lame. I, I, I win. Guys. I win with cheese. Crafts. That was lame. He doesn't like it that I won, but guys, I won. Can you believe that? And what he said at the very beginning that ah, nobody beats me. I am the one that always wins. Oh. I'm willing to give this one up. <laughs> Ariona, you win this one. Yes. But I'm the reigning champ. Oof. You took my belt today, though. I did. I did. I did took his belt, guys. I, so I, I give you my belt. Right there. This fourth of October, 2020. <laughs> Isaac Ruiz gave me his belt. But I'm just gonna take it back next week. The next <laughs> game. So that's all right. All right. All right. 
Thank you guys. Thank you for watching us. I hope you enjoyed as we did. And just stay tuned, please, because we have an amazing message coming. <sighs> Elevate youth, I come to you in great pain. I lost today's game. And I always win every single game. So I'm at a loss today. It sucks. I've never felt so like Ariona, you know, because she loses every single game. So now I know what it's like to feel like her. And it's not a great feeling. <laughs> Ariona's right here and she's all mad. But Ariona, how's it feel to win? Feels great? She's running up here. I'm just going to jump for two seconds. It's not true that I lose everything. Guys, you have been witnessing me in the activities that I win. So what, like, which, uh, which, which games have you won? Tell uh, me. I've, uh, I, I have won the games with the drawing in the bag. So I won that one. You didn't and, win uh, that one. This is the only one we play together. So out of two games we play together, I won both of them. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm so disgusted with cheese. You should have seen the face I gave Janet. I was like... I just gave her the face of like, please. I looked like a sad puppy that just needed to be saved. And you know what she did? Absolutely nothing. So thanks, Janet. Just kidding. You're awesome. Um, so I got a cool message for you. So when we were planning this whole game out, we were like, okay, like cheese. So what can we do with cheese? Janet had this great idea for us to play this game. And then we were all thinking, what? how do we do a message out of sculpting cheese? Like, what do, you, what do we put with cheese? You know what? When we sculpt cheese, it reminds you that Jesus died on the cross for you. Like, no, we had to come up with something outside of the box. We had to think creatively. And you know what we came up with? Is you remember how we were taking apart all those cheese and trying to sculpt it? And we were trying to make something that cheese was never meant to be. Cheese is meant to be put on like burgers. You can have cheese sticks. You can have mozzarella cheese sticks. Uh, they people bread cheese, um, cheese. Yeah, it could be cut it up in salad. You see it on burgers. You see it on fried chicken, Chick-fil-A. Um, and then you also see it. Uh, cheese is just used for so many things. But you know what? Because it's it's used for great stuff. Like I love Colby Jack cheese, Colby Jack cheese, Pepper Jack cheese. Those are my boys right there. Also, too, I love when Ariona, this is what happens, okay. So Ariona does like my dad's like uh, Sunday, like little like snacks for him. So like when he preaches, you know, he has something to eat after. And she always buys him these like crackers with like pepperoni and it's got some cheese on it. I don't know what type of cheese that is, but it is dank and I always steal them. She thinks my dad eats them, but it's not her, it's me. I eat it when Ariona leaves I eat it when Ariana leaves church and I go into that little uh, um, fridge and I steal them all. I have some at home. So yeah, Ariana, you never knew that. But cheese is awesome, it's amazing. But you know, we did a game where we try to make cheese into something, it was never meant to be. Do we see ever cheeses that are Eiffel Towers at the store? Hey, can I get the cheese Eiffel Tower edition and put it on my burger? No, because it's really difficult to do. Of course, there's people out there who are wizards and sculpt out of anything, and they probably have like cheese galore stuff that they can make, but we're not them. But I find it weird and funny how sometimes we're all like cheese. Cheese is meant on a lot of different things. You and me could be two different cheeses. We do two, two different things. We, we are toppings on two different meals, right? And cheese is great. It's bomb. We love cheese on a lot of things. But you know how we like to manipulate everything, right? We like to be something we're not. So sometimes we can just be a regular American cheese. But we're like, nah, today I want to be a fish. That, but that's a cheese. Do you think you're ever going to see cheese swimming in the water? No. Because cheese was never meant to be that. And sometimes you and I like to cut corners. We like to change who we are just so we can be something we were never meant to be. Cheese is great as it is. You're great as it is. Can you be better? Yeah. But you know what? That's why people like cheese sometimes that's been refined, that's been given time, you know? Because cheese, in order to get cheese, it's a whole process. You know, you get it from a cow, you get it from milk, you get it from all these, there's all these processes for you to become cheese. And you know what? Sometimes we like to speed up that process. Sometimes we think we know better. Sometimes we think that, that we can just be something that we were never meant to be. 
And I'm telling you today, let's just be cheese. Let's be happy with just being the regular cheese that you are. Because let me tell you this, there's always tons of cheeses. There's always tons of the same kind of cheese, but every cheese is different. You know, if you think about it, they're kind of like imperfect yet perfect. They look perfect on the outside, but the makeup to it is always different. And you're perfect the way you are because that's how God made you. And here's a scripture for that. It says in 1 Corinthians 13, 10, but when the perfect comes, the partial will be done away. When Jesus comes, he's perfect. His love is perfect for you and I. And you know what? We were making some partial looking cheeses, especially Ariona, man. I don't know how she won that game. Her cheeses look tore up. At least mine were small, you know, but hey, I lost, it's okay. But the point is, is that it was partial. It looked disgusting. The plate looked like all over the place. But you know what? That's perfect. Like we talked about last week. Jesus loves when we're in our weakness. You know why? Because he can make you look strong to the world when they thought you couldn't. But here he's saying he goes even further. But when the perfect comes, the partial will be done away. He wipes that whole plate clean and he makes you a whole new cheese. Just be cheese. And you're like, oh, that's probably cheese. I was like, this is a whack message. How do you even, what? that doesn't make sense. I feel good the way I am. At the end of the day, there's times when we, we can go through life and we don't feel perfect. We don't feel like we're complete. We feel like we're always partial. Life's dealt us a short hand that we feel like there's something more. And let me tell you, there is something more. And his name is Jesus. And I know that sounds so cliche of, oh, there's this God who loves you. He died on a cross for your sins. We see him like on plaques, you know, where Jesus is like this, you know, and he's dead. But let me, let me level with you. Even sometimes for me, I feel like my life is partial, that I wish I could have had a better life. And you know what? I knew God growing up. And sometimes I didn't see God a lot. I felt like God had abandoned me, especially by his own people. Christians can be tough people. I know we all, we all hate being labeled a Christian because you know what our original thoughts are in our head? They're either overbearing, they're religious, and they're not relatable. They're just these religious freaks that go like this, they read their Bible, and they judge. But let me tell you, that's not the Jesus who died on a cross for you and I. He died on a cross so you and I could be free. So we could love people, not shove a Bible down their throat. When someone comes to me, Isaac, I feel depressed. I'm not like, hey man, you should look up James 3 too. No, I love them. So then when I am reading, hey, what are you reading? I'm reading James 3 too, and I feel like it could help you. That's the Jesus we serve. That's the Jesus who died on a cross for me. Because I'm not perfect. I'm a partial, I'm a crappy looking cheese. I'm all over the place. I look disgusting, but to Jesus, he made me perfect. The partial goes away. And I'm here to challenge you and to beg you that I don't want you to live a partial life. I want you to live a full life. I want you to live a life where you can be proud of the cheese that you are. You can be proud of how far you've come. And look how far you've come. You've made it to this point. But imagine how much further you could go with the God in heaven who could help you, who could comfort you, who could love you. And you know who Jesus is? I promise you, you've seen him or you've seen her. And I'm not saying Jesus is a girl, Jesus is a boy. No, but Jesus said that we're him. We are the hands and feet of Jesus. We're the last bits of Jesus left here on earth. So please, you have an opportunity. Come visit us at church. Come to youth. You, you need an answer. You need people. You're like, God, I wish I had friends. Well, here's an opportunity here. Come visit us. We love you. And we, we play some cool games. And I steal the snacks when Ariona isn't looking like those uh, ice cream sandwiches. We have, <laughs> we have good snacks too. But you got to come. Try out God for real this time. And maybe you know God. And maybe you always feel like, I always feel partial, Isaac. Even with God, I don't feel great. God never promised us an easy life. God never said, once you say the prayer, he gets a magic wand and everything becomes beautiful. 
It's a process, just like cheese is made. And if you want to be the perfect cheese, you got to go through the process. You got to be willing to, to take the hits. And you know what? I, and if you're feeling like you're in pain right now, or if life's just sucking, let me tell you this. Pain may last for a minute, hour, a day, or even a year, but it will subside. But if you quit, that lasts forever. Quitting isn't uh, an action, it's, an, it's a characteristic. And I know none of you guys are quitters. And if you want an answer today, his name is Jesus. And he makes you perfect when you're impartial. And you know what, I feel impartial sometimes, but I know that looking back in the whole process, because I've been your age, I've done stupid things, uh, I'm like the worst of the family. Alexis was the golden child. I mean, she's been made in perfect things. You know, she's done some stuff, but I was the worst one. I was the one who loved running away from God. And my parents were pastors. You know how many times I put them in a tough place because of my decisions? I've done stupid stuff. But you know what? I look back on my life and I realize that without Jesus, man, my life would be terrible. I don't know if I'd be in front of you today. I lived a partial lifestyle, thinking that I had it all. Just because I had a couple of guys laughing, a couple of girls giving me googly eyes laughing too, I thought I had it. But at the end of the day, those people don't go with you where you're going. I don't have half the people I thought were everything to me when I was younger. I probably have like three friends left from high school. But you know what? I can say this, because of God, I walk away feeling a little bit better about myself because he saved me. He gave me purpose. When teachers called me stupid, he gave me wisdom. Man, I couldn't do half the things I'm doing now if I didn't have Jesus. And I used to laugh at Jesus' face and tell him he wasn't real. Now, I laugh when people tell me that he's not real. I am confident in who Jesus is. And I'm confident that he can save you today. I want you to give God a chance. He loves you. I wish I had more people telling me when I was younger he loved me. But I'm here to tell you, Jesus loves you. He died for you. So you and I could live free from sin, free from shame, free from guilt. And if you want to live in that freedom like I am, like Ariona is, like Janet is, you have a free opportunity right now. I'm just going to pray with you. I want you to bow your head, close your eyes. So Father, you hear us. Sometimes we feel like some cut up cheese like Ariona makes. Or like I even make. Mine were pretty bad, God. I made some bad decisions even with the cheese that you've given me. I've ruined it. But you've given me grace. And I pray for those right now who are listening and that they want grace. They want freedom. They're tired of feeling empty. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would be that perfect thing, Lord God, that comes and wipes all the partiality away. That you would help them right now, Lord Jesus, to feel whole, to feel loved. The same love that you've given me that I don't deserve, I pray that you would give to them. And if that's you at home, I just want you to repeat this prayer after me, okay? Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and be my Savior. Forgive me of all of my sins, every single one of them. Today is a new day. I am born again, living with your spirit. Thank you for dying on a cross for my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you said that prayer, I want you to know today you become perfect. And maybe you already know God and you've fallen away. I, 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 I want you to know you can say that same prayer again. And you can just pray to God and be like, God, forgive me. And you know what? He makes you perfect. Every single day you wake up, perfection. We're imperfect people, but to God, man, we're beautiful. And I want you to know that. So come down. Visit us here on Wednesdays. And we would love to hang out with you, talk with you, have fun with you. Because that's the God who we serve. Not some religious freak, you know. We have a fun opportunity with you. Get connected with people who can encourage you, who can love on you. And we miss you, and I can't wait to see you all. And if you want to get connected with us, follow us on Instagram, at underscore elevate youth underscore. 
and we post on our stories. We have some great stuff for you there. And if you want to get connected to an e-group where you can talk with people your age, you can talk with our leaders, you can get to go do cool activities, get connected, DM us. Or come on this Wednesday at 620 where you can come, have games, and have snacks that I steal from Mariona when she's not looking. All right, we love you all. We can't wait to see you. Have a great day.